I am Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com and I did a video on metformin, fairly popular, describing the benefits of metformin and I get a steady stream of comments how metformin is going to kill you, how it causes kidney problems, how somebody's uncle took metformin and 10 years later had kidney failure uh, disregarding the fact that he'd been a diabetic for 20 years. Uh, I want to tell you that this is bunk. Metformin has been around in the U.S since the early 1990s. So I went ahead and I pulled data on end-stage kidney failure related to diabetes from 1990, 2000, and 2010 to show you the trends are improving in diabetics. They have less kidney failure. So I've got a couple of links below to an article uh, looking at multiple complications of diabetes and the occurrence rate in 1990, 2000, and 2010. Despite the incidence of dying diabetes going up exponentially, the rate of all of these conditions have gone down in diabetics since 1990. Uh, the two biggest inventions since then have been metformin and the statin drugs like Lipitor and Crestor. So uh, first off, uh, myocardial infarction, heart attack in diabetics, the number one cause of death in diabetics since 1990 has gone down an amazing 68% less in that time span. Um, strokes have gone down 52% in diabetics since 1990, probably mostly attributed to the statin cholesterol drugs. Um, lower extremity amputations have gone down 52% in diabetics in that time period. Uh, End-stage renal disease, kidney disease, uh, a complication of diabetes has gone down 28% in diabetics since 1990, since the widespread use of metformin. We've had insulin for a very long time for diabetics. We've had sulfonylurea drugs for a very long time. The thing that happened since 1990, why I use that date in particular, was because that was about when metformin showed up in the United States. Uh, it's interesting that uh, end-stage renal disease in non-diabetics has actually gone up 65% since 1990. So in general, kidney disease has gone up in the United States. The incidence of kidney disease in diabetics has gone down 28% since 1990. So if your uncle has had diabetes for 20 years, he's been on metformin for 10 years, and he developed kidney failure, it's not because he was on metformin. He was a diabetic. He was put on metformin because he was a diabetic, and a diabetic is not a perfect drug. People still get disease. People still get kidney problems. Problems, people still die of heart attacks despite medication. Uh, the information that diabetes and metformin and kidney failure was related probably comes from the fact that the kidneys clear metformin and if you have very low or poor kidney function you should not take metformin. That does not mean that metformin causes kidney failure. So if you'd like to read the article below, if you have the medical background to understand the information in the article and you want to put a comment arguing why this information is wrong, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Uh, Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.